Hunger is upon me and I must feed. Greetings, Christoph. How can I help you? Take care. Here be my wares. Go with God, young one. Greetings, Christoph. How can I help you? Go with God, young one. Greetings, Christoph. How can I help you? Farewell, young one. Welcome, child. Take care.
abyss with thee!
Depart. I come unto thee. Draw the precious blood from my body to sustain thee.
shipping manifest for the October slave shipment to be shipped seven mortal slaves and three canine prisoners. The Ventru caravan master Count Orsi shall ship these slaves to the house de Hexi in Vienna. We have found prisoners. Thou art free of thy bondage by the power of the Prometheans. Thanks upon thanks to thee for releasing us. Ye have saved us surely. Blessings upon ye, stranger. precious blood from my body to sustain me.
draw the precious blood from my body to sustain thee.
Day to ye, young sir. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. Good day to ye, young sir. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. Good day to ye, young sir. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. Good day to ye, young sir. You have my hand on it. Tis a deal. Hello, young one. What is it you desire? Take care.
I may draw the precious blood from my body to sustain me. This is no place for me. Flee! And I shall spare thee. What manner of canine have they imprisoned here? He seems more animal than man. Thou hast saved Eric of Clan Gangrel. According to the ancient canine law, I owe thee a life boon. I shall accompany thee and protect thee until such time as I discharge my debt. 
Thou speaks with honor. Thy providential attack did interrupt the wicked sorcerer Ardan as he began a conjuration to twist me into a mindless gargoyle. At the sound of thy coming, the Tremere snake slithered into the chambers below. I am thine to command. After I have felt the Tremere's shriveled heart burst between my jaws! Thou mayst tear the warlock's heart from his chest only after I have pried truthful answers from his mouth. Now let us go. Not attack me! I shall give thee all thy desires! Hold, Ardan. I am Christoph Romuald of Clan Bruja. Where is Aneska? Welcome, Christoph Romuald. Ah, yes. An intriguing woman came unto me. A nun she was. And she was my first nun. Uh, that is, she was the first nun who ever came seeking me. Aneska, her name. She sought the lore of the kindred. She sought our secrets. And she sought to learn of thee, Christoph. I was intrigued with such audacity. Come to the point, Magus. She seemed to have no fear. No fear at all. I was dumbstruck. She seemed possessed of the courage of a hundred warriors, yet I could smell her fear. Well aware she was of the risk she ran, was she filled with arrogant self-righteousness? No. She knew her god would not protect her from my hunger. Did she seek martyrdom? No. She clearly clung to her life and lived life with a passion I had not seen before in a nun. Was she mad? Or a mere fool? No. Behind her quiet words, there lurked a cunning mind. She was... She was... I did not know what she was. And in not knowing, I was intrigued. Intrigued and... Strangely... Drawn to her. I care not for thy loathsome appetites, Ardan. What became of her? And she was quite beautiful. Didst thou know? Couldst thou see that behind her wimple, that her hair was long and auburn? Couldst thou see that beneath the shapeless folds of her robe, that she possessed a body as achingly beautiful as any odalisque? Truly. She chose the wrong profession to make the best use of the gifts God had bestowed upon her. In defiance of heaven, she had buried her talents in the field of the holy orders. Her beauty transfixed me, just as her courage thrilled me. I had never met a woman like her, and I shall never again. I have. 
had to have her. I had to make her my own child. If thou dare to defile her in such a way, I swear, I will burn thee to ash an inch at a time. Thou might show more charity to the only one who can find her. He baits thee, Christoph, and dawdles for some treacherous purpose. Pray, let me kill him! Ardan, if thou dost fail to tell me where she is with thy next breath, Eric will behead thee before thou draw breath again. I know not! I touched her not, but merely sent her away to the Tsimitsi. Dost thou take me for a fool? Why wouldst thou send one thou lusted for to thy hated enemy? My sire would not allow me another child, and I dared not defy him. But I could not bear the thought of another embracing her. So I sent her to the Tsimitsi. They are the only clan that would have no use for one such as she, so I could be sure they would not embrace her. They would simply kill her, thinking her a part of some Tremere scheme. Devil-tongued fiend! Thou hast sent her to her death! Die! Wait! She did return from the Tsimitsi! What? Liar! The Tsimitsi would have killed her. Peace! Let him speak. I asked her how she survived, and she said, Her faith sustains her in all things. She even thanked me for sending her to the Tsimitsi. Ah, oh, a most remarkable woman. My spies did tell of a premise revenant that did cower before the pure light of her faith, and sobbing like a child, whispered to her of Golconda. Golconda? What is that? The belief that a vampire can be redeemed, cured of the blood of Cain. Tis but a legend, and no more, told to give comfort to weak-willed Cainites. Yet no one knows more of Golconda than the great Tremere master, Atreus. She said she would go to him in his chantry in Vienna. She even asked to ride to Vienna in our October caravan of slaves. What a woman! Where is she? Tell me or I will split thee in twain. I delivered her to the Ventru caravan driver, Orsi, and they left three days ago for Vienna. Doc! Thou hast enslaved her! Ha! Master Atreus will take great delight in her! And now I have finished casting this spell that will destroy thee, thou love-struck clotpole! Ah! Ardan, I will slay thee if it is my last act on Earth! <gasps> Away, thou unthinking brute! <laughs> Turn to the university in triumph. Very well. But then I shall go to Vienna and reclaim fair Anesca from these cursed warlocks.
I must take my leave of this city. I am sure the Tremere hold Aneska in their Vienna Chantry. I can no longer continue here while she remains in danger. Ardan was a consummate deceiver. The Tremere have gathered fearsome power in Vienna, and we are not ready for bloody battle with the usurpers. They invited thee to play a sinister game. They know that one day we will have to attack their Vienna Chantry, and so they desire to force our hand before we are ready. I shall not be tricked. Only after we have gathered the other clans in alliance may we contemplate a strike against them. We will not venture into so palpable a trap. But Anesco will die. Many have died in the Elder Wars, and many more will die ere Gehenna comes. But fewer will die if we bide our time and heed not the trickery of the Tremere. But I cannot simply abandon Anesca to those fiends? Thou canst and thou must. Thy claim upon her is born in weak need, mortal sentiment. Release such frailties and spare thyself further wretchedness. We cut our ties to mortals when first we received the blessing of Allfather Cain. Thou hast been reborn in blood, cleansed of mortal claims. Thou art exalted. Thou art immortal. Thou art finally free. I thought we Prometheans respect the mortals. For a bumpkin of a holy warrior, thou dost reason like a Greek sage. Aye, we respect mortal men, but we do not seek kinship with the current breed. For lo these many generations, mortals have been cowed by the cleverness of the Inkanu, their faculties o'erthrown by scheming mages, and their wisdom tainted by demons. The little nobility left in them is tainted by corrupt rulers and priests. The mortals of Carthage were worthy companions. Their base progeny are not worth the spilling of the blood of immortals. Aneska is as noble a woman as any in Carthage. We must rescue her. Brazen brat! Thou hast earned no such right! Even faithful Wilhelm would quake in fear before making such a selfish request. Perhaps, but I make it all the same. Mayhap, in a generation or two, thou shalt be deemed worthy of making such a request. In a generation or two, she will die an old woman, even if she survives the Zemitsi. Then let her die! She chose her path, not thee! She chose to enter the world of vampires. Thou canst not save the foolhardy from their own reckless ways. Remember, like Cain, we are not our brother's keepers. I dragged her down in this vile pit, and I will draw her back again. I forbid it! Tread lightly, lest thou arouse my anger and provoke my powers upon thee. Do as thou must, but I must rescue her. I know not the fate of my soul, only the state of my heart. Very well. I see thy heart is fixed upon this course, and thou wilt not be denied. Go if thou wilt. Shouldst thou survive the Tremere Trap, remember well this freedom I have bestowed upon thee. But I shall not attend this fool's errand. Only a Malkavian would follow thee. Then call me a moon-mad child of Malkav, for I shall go. Willem, thou art true a friend as any in God's kingdom. A true fool? Mayhap I shall yet see this god of whom thou art overmuch fond. Or mayhap we shall tear the foul halls of the Tremere down around their scabrous ears, and bring the black heart of their sire to a Katarina to wear as a charm. Wilhelm, thou art mad! Two Canaanites cannot survive the house to Hexi. Not two, three shall go. 
though I have no wish to see the inside of another Tremir Chantry, I shall discharge my life boon by accompanying the brave Bruja, who pried open the jaws of the Tremir Trap and released poor Eric. Where Kristoff goes, Serena goes. Mayhap four shall prevail where one cannot. Mayhap I shall have to replace four Prometheans. Come, we leave for Vienna. <laughs>